Okay, Blender keeps on crashing, so just make sure you're always saving uh, because again, uh, as much Blender 2.8 is a really awesome application. It's still unstable and uh, still a work in progress. So you're going to run into uh, that a lot. So make sure you're always saving, constantly saving your projects. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is where we ended up uh, in the last part. So I will save this as part one and um, create another project. So if you want to get this, you will find it on my Patreon account. Uh, so I will create another project called part two. Save this as part two. And uh, we were still adding uh, this door. So I'll just add a loop there. And uh, again, this window was a bit high. So I will pull it up a bit around there and uh, add another loop here. Then we can select this face, extrude in like that. And uh, yeah, so we have most of our doors in. Uh, we need to add uh, these large windows. And so we can add a loop here. Because if you see closely, closely, uh, there is uh, this thing kind of uh, go through up to here think this is where you would add plants and everything so this we need to add a loop here and another one around here and now we can select this here extrude in like that and uh, We don't really see what's going on. I can't really see what's at the top here, so I'm just going to use my imagination. Uh, and I think this is going way, t uh, going way in, so we can pull it back a bit. Because we'll come up and we'll come and clear up uh, some of these vertices that we don't need. Yeah. Uh, right now, we want we are just concentrating on making things a bit easier for us to to model. That's why you see I'm not caring about how much uh, polygons I'm adding right now. So let's add another f uh, loop here and uh, up here, and let's also add another one here. And uh, let's select uh, this face. Select the first one and then con hold down control and then select and then select uh, this one like here. Then we can use this new extrude along normals uh, tool, then extrude in like that. Uh, but the problem is when we use this, I think <coughs> these are not really straight. As you see here, there's some kind of bend. So let's go to wireframe, as you can see it there. And uh, make sure you are in vertex mode. Select uh, these here. And then make sure you straighten the straight, make them straight in the, in the Y axis. Or whatever axis they are facing for you. So that we have something like this. Let's see if we turn on wire wireframe. <coughs> where is that? Where wire 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 wire? Over the <coughs> wire. Yeah, so that we can see the shapes more clearly. Uh, we can add. I think this is around here. Let me first remove, get this out of the way. Uh, 
Du, 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 du. I see this protrusion in here. Uh, that's what we want to add. And I uh, think we need to add another loop here. Select uh, this up to here and then up to there. You can use the circle select, uh, then select these parts up to around there. Then extrude like that. And I think we also need to extrude. Make sure it doesn't go out outside there. So we need to select these faces here, edges, push them in a bit like that. Then select this, then extrude that inside. Uh, I think we can remove these wireframe. So, yeah. So we can start working on uh, these frames, the window frames. And they look a bit really simple, so let's go in. So for that, let's begin with this window here. Select this ring, shift D to duplicate it and then P to separate it from that, from the, from the other mesh. Uh, we can add a loop here, control B to bevel that loop. Then we can use this extrude along normals to pull it pull that out uh, but you see there is some kind of distortion here so we need to clear that out so go to vertex mode and then wireframe select these and make the, straighten them up in the x-axis and do the same for this scale z axis like that uh, we can also scale this inside uh, before we do that let's uh, I change the origin to geometry, then scale this in a bit. We need to make sure that the gaps between these are the same. Uh, around there. Then we can select the outer rings. Let me first, let me hide everything first. So we can select these outer rings and unhide. Then extrude scale. Uh, make sure you scale only in this in the in the y and z, in the x and z plane so s shift z no s shift x s s shift s shift y i think yeah in that plane like that uh actually no shouldn't be that axis so it should we can scale it in the X and then in the Y like that and hide hide everything make sure this is at the same level I don't know okay you know what let's first delete these We can extrude this like this and then 
this will depend on how much detail you, detail you want in the frame. Uh, we don't need these loops here. So we can remove them. And then we can add a middle loop here, then delete these. Make sure that the cursor is there, and then origin to 3D cursor, then add a mirror modifier in the Now we can also add a bevel modifier. Let's just apply the rotation and scale. Uh, so this will mess up the mirror. And uh, yeah, so something like that. So now we can apply the mirror again, bevel this loop and uh, extrude in. So this is where the window will, uh, the, the mirrors or the glass will be inserted. So unhide this. So you can see this is a double a window uh, or a double glass window so we can has two windows, so we can duplicate this, scale it down, so this will be the inside window, that wireframe, select this, so that's the first window. We can duplicate this, shift D. We're going to use the same frame, just make a few edits and uh, use it for this, for this other window. And we just need to select uh, these faces. Don't just scale like this in object mode because it will uh, distort uh, the mesh. You can see these uh, edges here are getting are wider as you scale them. And just go to edit mode, select uh, this side, all of these devices on this side, pull them until they get to the end there, around there. Then select these to around there. And again, these like that. So, um, you can select this here. I think it should be around here. Uh, these inside windows. Shift D. And if you hit L, Control L, you can select everything that is connected. Um, Shift D, duplicate. Let's first put this up on the side so that we can easily edit it. I think it's like this. Then needs to be here. 